Hey guys, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, back with the next episode in our 44 Mag Ballistic Joe Block Test Series. And in this episode, we're looking at the Bear Creek Ballistics uh, 225 grain HV bullet. Now, this is their polymer tip bullet. Uh, their very aerodynamic polymer tip bullet uh, designed for single shot 44 mags. This bullet will be too long to load for most 44 Magnum revolvers and most 44 Magnum lever action rifles. So it's pretty much uh, relegated to uh, to single shot 44 Magnum rifles. And uh, and I do happen to have one of those. It's a Rossi trifecta. Uh, so with a word of caution, I will say this, it is possible to chamber this round in a 44 Magnum lever action rifle, but if you chamber it, you better make sure you shoot it or you're gonna have to dig it out of the extractor to get it to eject. Uh, because it is too long. Once you drop it in, it is too long to, to pop back out if you ever try to eject it without shooting it. So keep that in mind. If you put this one in a lever action, you're going to have to pull the trigger on it. So a uh, quick word of housekeeping. If you click this little white button up here with the eye, and it's going to light up and it's going to take you to a link for KentuckyRangeTime.com. That's my affiliate partner's uh, website. It's the quick shopping links for all my affiliate partners. There's over 95 businesses there, your, your favorite places to shop. It's Midway USA and Natchez Mid-South Shooting Supply. It's Magpul and Safari Land and US Optics and Raven Crossbows and all kinds of outdoors and camping and reloading and archery and optics and, and holsters and all kinds of great stuff uh, from the from the outdoors and, and tactical gun community. And, uh, you know, 95 different companies. And any of those companies that you click and go to their homepages and shop from our website uh, generates a small commission that, that helps the page offset the cost. So, all right, let's turn around here and look at the cost that we're offsetting with uh, some of this commission money. All right, guys. So here's a good look at this. So here is the uh, the the 225 grain 44 cal. Now these are a .4292, whereas we saw the other HV bullets or the LV bullets were a .4302. So a little bit of, of variance in the uh, in the OD on these bullets uh, from from one type to the next. And uh, Winchester 296 powder. I think we had 27 and a half grains of 296. And of course, uh, the Winchester primers, uh, the the WLPs, Winchester large pistol. So, and here is a good look at this bullet. And this is what the off the cost uh, the commission from our affiliate partners helps offset. These bullets from Bear Creek Ballistics are not cheap. These things are running in here about a dollar sixty a piece with shipping, and. Uh, you know, order these in, in boxes of 25. Um, I actually ordered uh, some 458 diameter for the 4570 a few weeks ago, and they ended up being with shipping almost a, uh, almost $2 a bullet. So, all right, guys, let's head out to the range and see how this thing does in the gel block, and we'll be right back with the results. All right, guys, so uh, next up, I have a, a ballistic gel block test. I've got a little spider friend here crawling around. Let me get him out of the way. Go on. And uh, <laughs> so always some critters out here. Uh, this is the 225 grain HV uh, polymer tip bullet from Bear Creek Ballistics uh, chambered in 44 Magnum. And uh, this bullet is too long to feed in most revolvers and also too long to feed in most lever action guns. So it's pretty well designated as a single shot uh, rifle, Thompson Contender. Uh, I'll be shooting with a Rossi Trifecta 22-inch barrel here today. Uh, this is actually something I picked up from my daughter several years ago to deer hunt with. Uh, it came with a, a 44 mag barrel, a 20-gauge shotgun barrel, and a 22 long rifle barrel. So uh, it's a, a pretty nice little little package uh, to be able to, to throw all the extra barrels in a bag and, and take off and, and swap between you know, rim fire, center fire, and shotgun all in one. So uh, I've got four gel blocks set up out here at 30 feet. Uh, I've got a slow motion camera set up. Uh, velocities will be gathered here on the Garmin Zero Pro C1. And uh, let's see how this thing does. Now I had previously tested this. This was actually the very first gel block test I did and posted uh, over a year ago. And uh, I was pretty green then, and I've kind of refined everything a little bit better, and I wanted to come back 
and take a little bit better look at this uh, than, than what I, I did in the first one. And uh, so let's, let's put it down here and see what it does. So this is a clean piece of gel block. velocity of 1998.4 foot per second. Case was locked in there pretty good. Let's go check out the catch. All right, so just like I remember from the previous test, uh, this thing has some really, really nice um, temporary and permanent wound cavity here. So this thing has uh, started opening up immediately upon the impact with the gel. It was uh, pretty much fully open by one inch, and we've got this massive uh, wound cavity from one inch down to about seven and a half, and then this thing starts settling down for some straight line penetration. You can still see a little bit of the spiral rotation on here as we go through. And looks like we traveled down here to 23 and three quarter inches of overall penetration. And that thing has opened up nicely. There is just a massive crater on the front end of this thing. And uh, this thing has worked just like it, just like it's supposed to. All right, guys, let's go put one more of these in here and then uh, we'll come and take a look at it. All right, guys, Bear Creek Ballistics, round number two. And this is the load given by Bear Creek Ballistics. Uh, they actually send load data with their, their bullets when they ship them out. So if you haven't ordered from them before and seen that, uh, you know, they, they, they guide you in pretty close to, uh, to the good load for their bullet. They, they want you to succeed with these. So they, they stack the deck by sending you the load data. All right. There goes shot number two. I'm going to try to put this one on the other side of the gel block. Doesn't take much, but there's one little bulge in the bottom, in the base of that brass. It seems like it's keeping it from, uh, from popping free out of there. All right, looks like we picked up some velocity this time. Uh, velocity for that shot was 2063.0. Two shot average velocity of 20.30. I'm sorry, two shot average velocity of 2030.7. Standard deviation of 32.3 and kinetic energy of 2,125.8 foot pounds. Um, these are over a dollar a bullet. I think I'll save these. So this actually is what I have this gun set up to shoot. And that's what I have in the ammo carrier here. And they are over, they're like a dollar 25 per bullet just for the bullet before you load it. So they are kind of expensive. I'm gonna save these. Uh, I do have some, some velocity numbers from, from previous shots. Uh, so, all right, let's go check out the catch on this one. All right, entry for shot two is right here. And you can see this wound pattern as this thing is opening up around each one of these shots. You know, this is opening up to a nice, nice large uh, wound cavity here. I can't wait to see it on the slow motion camera. So pretty much same as the first shot. We've got 
uh, really nice expansion here by within an inch. Uh, nice large wound cavity down here to about 12 inches again. And then straight line penetration. And looks like we were sitting here at 24 inches. Just a little bit farther out than what the first shot went. And here's a look at this bullet. And we will get these dug out. And have a better look at them once we get back to the shop. All right, guys. So here's the results. And uh, pretty impressive. I mean, pretty much what we would expect out of this bullet. And this is actually the second time that I've tested this bullet in gel block. This this bullet was the very first bullet that I tested in gel block uh, early last spring when I first uh, first did my very first ballistic gel block test. And I really didn't feel like I knew what I was doing then. I was just kind of feeling my way through it as I went. And since then, uh, I've actually refined the, the, the format for the gel block test. And, and of course, I've added the spreadsheet since then with all the data and all that stuff too. So uh, I felt like I, I could give this bullet a much better review and, and, and much fairer shake this time than what I did in the previous test. And uh, so here's what we ended up with. Velocities on these were at 1998 and 2,063 foot per second. So an average velocity of 2,031 foot per second. Um, kinetic energy was 2,060 foot pounds. Uh, final expansion average on the two, they were really close, was 0.734, so just under three quarters of an inch. Uh, weight retention was 221.4 for both bullets, and that means that this polymer tip right here weighed in at 3.6 grains. And penetration average was 23.88 inches, so just under 24 inches. And guys, this is a this is a nice bullet. Uh, we got a nice curl out on this thing and uh, you know, really good expansion. That polymer tip pretty much uh, ensured that we got good expansion. And the ballistics chart that's coming up with this also shows some, some pretty good numbers. All right, guys, that's the 225 grain polymer tipped uh, LV round from Bear Creek Ballistics. And if you notice, there's like a little dull film on the copper on these. That is actually a Teflon coating. This Teflon coating is also designed to decrease the resistance of this round leaving the bullet and decrease the resistance of this round traveling uh, across the rifling as it leaves the barrel. And this actually helps this bullet actually accelerate faster out of the rifle. You'll get better, uh, better production from your powder burn as it leaves. And ultimately it'll provide a, uh, a higher velocity farther down range. And, and that's that's always important when you're trying to get these copper bullets to expand. Uh, coming up is a ballistics chart out to 400 yards. And this bullet out of this 22-inch barrel uh, with everything plugged in is still doing almost 1,200 foot per second at 400 yards. So I'm going to say that anything that you would dare to shoot inside of 300 yards with this bullet uh, would be a reasonable shot. Uh, with the velocities that this thing's maintaining and the energy that it's maintaining downrange. So take a minute and digest, uh, digest this ballistic chart coming up as well. Uh, I also have the spreadsheet coming up and a few pictures. So any questions, guys, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and, uh, and share the video. Uh, we like likes, we like comments, we like subscriptions, and we like shares. And uh, so, <laughs> all right, guys, uh, as always, thanks for watching. And Matt from Kentucky Range Time. We'll catch you on the next one.